She's coming back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hi. <laughs>
Oh, a lot this month. Oh, is it? Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Because if you pull in eight, you got to get rid of eight. Oh, there'll be eight. Yeah. But I, I'm trying to read all my thrillers because I like those. So they've all been like four and 4.5 books. That just means though that when you finish all your thrillers, which you'll probably not get, ever get through because you have so many of them under your bed. Um... <laughs> At the beginning, I had a whole bunch of review books that I read, which I gave like two stars for all Did you finish them, all so. the reviews that you had to get done? I still have three more. chose well mama so if you guys never see this vlog it's because i'm dead we were gonna film everything that we did today but my phone died so we got nothing on camera hello so i was saying i'm really tired and how come she doesn't look as tired as me am i doing now we're getting milkshake and we went shopping today i did some damage we bought lots of food lots of food that you can't get in canada oreos lots of oreos and cereal lots of cereal pretzels pop tarts a bucket a bucket. With pineapples on it. Um, what else did I buy? A shirt for me, a dress for me, pants for me. You got a shirt? It's only day one. Oh, we got Curtis a Coke bottle with his name on it. It's not much, but it's his name. But he never gets anything Look with his this. name. We're gonna drink our milkshakes and then we're gonna go back to the ho creepy hotel and try not like to get Bates, murdered. Bates Hotel did not choose well. As long as I don't wake up with bedbugs, we good. Ginormous. Last time we came here, I stole these cups because I wanted a souvenir. And he told the guy, I'm going to steal it and he let you do it. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to steal this now. And he was like, no, you're not. And I was like, yes, I am. And then I walked out with it. I'm done. Mom's not even halfway that's done. Halfway. I'm a champion. Stomach hurts a little bit, but that's besides the point. I pushed through because Mom had no raise, no quitta. Because it hurts my head too much. Oh, I keep burping. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. We're en route to Grove City. To do what? So much damage. <laughs> so much shopping at all the shopping places. So much shopping at all the shopping places. What are you places. looking for? Or just... Yeah, okay. I don't have a plan. No I just plan. want to spend money. We have made it to Grove City. We're in the home decor section place. And there are just pineapples everywhere. And this is making me so happy. How do you feel about the pineapples? Well, I think they are more significant to you. But is it pineapple? Pineapple. <laughs> How big that pineapple is. Big pineapples. I need to find more pineapples. More pineapple things. Found my new shoes. I found my new best friend. He's bigger than my head. Also found my new favorite store. There's candy everywhere. Look at all the candy. <laughs> we don't have stores like this in Canada. Okay. What is that? There's a bug in the lollipop. That's gross. Let's get it. We're doing what we do best. Eating food. We're taking a break. Because Mama's back hurts. Mommy's injured. Ready? <laughs> we have successfully <laughs> <Sorry>. finished <laughs> Grove City. We are so lazy that we are going to drive around the corner to the Starbucks and Under Armour outlet because we don't want to walk anymore. <laughs> We have our coffee. I'm feeling energized. We're having a second wind, right, you're, Mom? You're having a second wind. Mom's still tired. I feel great. Mom's always tired. We're off to Walmart and then back to Bates Motel. We have made friends. Hello, ducks. Get off the road. <laughs> really, really, duck? Are you coming back? You're uh, not supposed to be here. Uh, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. It's just a three, right? Excuse me, duck. Excuse me. Oh, really? Oh, really, really ducks? <laughs> Oh my god. Hello. Hello. Okay, another one. Ducks, hello, move. Okay, go. Go. Oh, no, there's another one. 
We're at Ruby Tuesdays, and I discovered Books a Million and spent twenty dollars on books. We don't have Books a Million. We should get a Books a Million. Mommy got ribs, and I got steak. And then we're gonna go see a movie. My foot, my misfoot, my me. I'm illuminated. We just finished a really bad movie called Overboard, starring Anna Faris. I can't say a word. I thought it was funny, but it was real bad. It was funny, but it's the premise of an old one. It was all right. It was just, it was $13 for two of us. That was okay. Which, in Canada, it's like $25 for two of us. Bad. It's twelve twenty. I have my third win. Mom's tired. Oh. I'm not tired at all. Mommy, sleep. See you tomorrow. Hi, okay. Mommy. Hi, It's Thursday, the last day here in Erie, Pennsylvania. We are going to do more shopping. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Joanne's Fabric so Mom can get pillowcase fabric. Maybe. Enough. And then we're going to Barnes & Noble because, you know, books. And then we're going to Mill Creek Mall. And then we're going to Walmart. And then we're going to Target. And then we're going home to get my phone back. We're in the craft store and I just found my new best friend. His name is Corey. He's a corgi and I'm obsessed with him. I'm going to buy him and he's so soft and cuddly and I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I love him. You're a lighter, huh? <laughs> oh, he wants your hair. Put your hair behind you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. You can take him in whatever room and play with him. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. I'm just filming you. I love him. Hi, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> I love him so much. Hey, hey, where are you going? <laughs> Come on. Go, go, go. Tugs. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, you're, oh, yeah, get it. What you doing? Oh, you're just undoing the whole thing. It's, it's, a, it's a really big yank, isn't it? Look at it. What you doing? <laughs> what are you she's, doing? She's having a hard time separating. <laughs> I love him. Oh my god, you're so precious. No, no. No, no. Come here. No, no. No, no. Let me do it. No. No. Oh. Okay, just go. <laughs> yeah, just park yourself. Yeah. Tug of war. No. Yeah, that's mine. It's mine. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 no. I just met a corgi. It was the best time of my entire life. Mom wouldn't let me buy him. I'm bitter. <laughs> Mommy likes him too. And Mommy never likes Mom dogs. Mom hates dogs, but he was precious, and I'm going to go kidnap him, and he, I'm so sad that we're leaving. I don't think you can take a dog across the border, though. Why? Although, if you have a pet, yeah. you could take your dog across the border. Yeah. You know what? I don't know. Let's go buy him. No. Damn it. We're on our way home. We just had Golden Corral, and uh, it's the most amazing place ever. We don't have that in Canada, but it is so much better than all the buffets that we have there. So why is it better? Because it's like home-style food, and the dessert was delicious. And they have a chocolate fountain. I discovered that you can not only put chocolate strawberries in there, but you can put sugar cookies in there. You can put whatever you wanted in there. If you want to put your baked potato in, you can do that. Okay, we just went too far with that one. So many pies. Marshmallows. Well, you could put a cake. Yeah, I can do what I want, you, you said. So, but it was delicious, and um, I'm going to start a petition to bring the Golden Corral to Canada. Why don't you get the franchise and open it up yourself? Okay, so we're going home now, and Where then go? we're going to go get my phone, and then we're going to go home and unpack our millions of bags back there. Do you see all that? We did some damage. Friday now. I had every intention when I got home yesterday from Pennsylvania to read, but then my best friend Abby texted me saying that I could come meet her new puppy, so I did that instead and no reading was done, but I'll insert some pictures of me meeting the puppy. Yes. Good girl, Good girl, Lena. What's that? Is that treat? Come here. Come here. Oh, she bit me. <laughs> 
She didn't even like wait. She was just like, Rawr! <laughs> she knows. Here, grab. When she starts doing that, grab a toy. Which is a very big baby. Like how she just vlogs. Uh, so he works for a company yeah. that is owned by them. So he works no, out of his that? bedroom. No, have this. No, have wow, this. He gets up about four have in the this. afternoon and works till about four in the morning. Have or this. Plays. No, or plays. Have um, that. Just throw it in her I mouth. Are you going to work for Blizzard? <laughs> take her to puppy school or yeah. what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. Yes. She's the cutest puppy ever. So what did you name her? Ayla. Oh. What are you God. doing, you weirdo? Hey. I like how her paws go. <laughs> I know, they're so funny and they're fat. Gonna barf? Please don't barf on me. You can go to her name is Ayla and she's the cutest little baby. Except she bites everything, so I got a lot of nip. Today I went to work and I pretty much just read the entire time. Pretty much done. This is our story by Ashley Elston. I have like 20 more pages, which I'm probably gonna finish tonight. I need to go get a splinter out of my hand that I got at work today and it won't come out and it really hurts. So mom's gonna get it out. Mommy's picking my splinter out. It hurts a lot. Pain, you can't see it. Look at it, I'm gonna die. Last time I got a splinter, I puked all over myself, so we're hoping that that doesn't happen again. Oh, memories. Oh, but it hurts a lot, I don't like it! My splinter is out. Okay. And I didn't throw up. Thank so you. We're going to go watch Siren now, cause Killer mermaids. Hello, it's now Saturday at 4.30. I just got home from work. I thought I'd update you guys while my coffee is brewing. I finished This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston last night and I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really liked it. It was like really addictive and I like wanted to know what was happening next. I had no idea who the killer was. I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually talk about this, but like I think it's a super underrated book. It was really good. I really liked it. And then work today was super quiet, so I basically just read the entire time like usual. Started There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. This is like her horror YA book. And like I'm 20 pages left-ish and it, it's nothing special. I'm not really all that invested in it. Like I don't really care what happens to any of the characters, which like in a murder mystery you should probably care you know about people dying but it's just not that good i'm probably gonna finish that tonight the plan is to just read because i have nothing to do probably start a new book which i'll update you guys on tomorrow unless it's like really good and i have something substantial to say then i will see you all tomorrow hi it's sunday now i just finished work it's four o'clock and that shift was the biggest shit show of my entire life. Literally everything that could have possibly gone wrong went wrong. I got there at 7.30 in the morning and to unlock the doors we have separate keys. So my front door key was broken. The back door key was missing. I'm freaking out because I can't unlock the building and we have elections in Ontario right now and that was why I had to go in so early was so that I could open the building for these elections. So I can't get in and I'm calling the person who worked last night being like hey where are the keys and she's like oh I brought them home like I'll be there so she came and brought me the keys and we got all that figured out and then I had a rental for my building and it was like this huge birthday party from like 9 in the morning until 4 p.m. the AC was broken and they were having like a hundred people at this birthday party the room is so grossly hot and the whole thing was a huge mess because it was not set up properly they wanted rectangle tables but we only had circle tables because all of our rectangle tables were being used for the election they're getting pissed at me because i didn't have the right setup and i was like i gave you what i had i wasn't here for the setup i just showed up and this was how the room was set up they're telling me they need more chairs and tables and i'm like i can't put more chairs and tables in because you're at capacity and that's a fire hazard and like I don't want to get sued so no so they're pissed off about that and then they're mad at me because we only have one fan so I gave them the fan they're like it's too hot we have old people and like babies and blah 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 and I was like I don't know what I'm supposed to do for you because I have one fan and it's the weekend so no like air conditioning people can come fix it right now and they're like well you need to call somebody so I called our on-call supervisor they did an emergency call to the AC person we didn't have keys to the roof <laughs> because our arena side is closed and that's where all of the access to the roof is and so I'm like 
I don't know how to get you onto the roof because I don't have keys to this part. So he had to climb a ladder up the side of our building to get onto the roof to fix this air conditioning. He finally has like everything figured out what's wrong with the AC and he goes, oh, I need to get into the room in order to fix the AC. And that's where the birthday party is. So I went to the birthday party people and I was like, hey, we need to get to the thermostat so that he can fix the AC. And she's like, well, I'm not moving my stuff. And I was like, you're literally the one who made me call this person to fix the AC. And now you won't let me get to the AC to fix the AC, which we had a huge fight about that you needed it fixed. Like, what do you want me to do? And she's like, still like, it's so hot in here. And I'm like, well, I could get it fixed if you'd move your food, but you don't want to move your food, lady. So then she was pissed at me telling me she's going to call my supervisor and my supervisor's on vacation, which is why I had to call the on-call supervisor. And I'm just like, I just showed up to work this morning, man. I don't know anything. I just know that you were here and I'm supposed to give you things, which I'm trying to do when you're not letting me give it to you. Literally everything that could have gone wrong went wrong today and I'm just done. I'm ending the vlog now because I'm not gonna get any reading done tonight. I'm literally going home and I'm going to sleep because I'm done with today. So thank you for joining me on this reading vlog. I'll see y'all next reading vlog next week and um, yeah, I hope you guys had a better day than I did.